We came that close to having a Blackberry disaster. Film at 11. I just said, yes, So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video right up here. That is my Blackberry Brandy wine base video where I took uh, a whole bunch of blackberries that I had picked myself and turned them into blackberry wine. And the intention was to hypothetically turn that into blackberry brandy and possibly also blackberry wine. So keep a little bit back for wine and take the rest and send it to the liquor fairy to make brandy. And then I found out the hard way that sometimes bucket spigots can fail. Yes, they can. When I put my blackberry brandy out in the garage to uh, finish fermenting, I took a big plastic tote and I put the bucket inside that tote. Man, I'm glad I did, because this happened. The spigot cracked in half just from fatigue because of over tightening and the fact that it was probably seven or eight years old. So I had used it dozens of times. So it cracked off and all of the wine just came out of the bucket all at once. And it filled that plastic tote. The good thing is I was able to then collect all of that blackberry wine and then use it to send it off to the liquor fairy for brandy. But because that tote was not perfectly sterilized and it was open to the air and bugs could have gotten in it, I couldn't bottle any of that blackberry for wine to then let it age and, and try it next spring or something. But luckily distilling is much more forgiving and it's, it's not gonna hurt it as long as you get to it soon enough. My advice is right now, down in the video description, I have a link to spigots. Go buy some now. When they show up, take all the bucket spigots that you have and throw them in the garbage because chances are they may be fatigued or they may be old. From now on, I will be changing mine out every single year without fail. So yeah, that was devastating. I saw that all sitting there and I was just like, you know, I hadn't been out there in like two or three days. So who knows what was in it? So it, it was just without question, I could not make wine with it. So I took all that blackberry wine and I went to the woods and then I summoned the liquor fairy and the liquor fairy brought me a surprise, which was awesome. As you can see, it's only set up for demonstration purposes that would hypothetically be run by the liquor fairy. If you hear gunfire, that's just my dad. My buddy over at the Grain Bench channel. I'm gonna put a link to his channel right down in the video description. I highly encourage you to go check him out because Kevin is an amazing maltster. He can malt anything, any kind of grain, and he has his process down Pat, so he really knows what he's doing and he is excellent at teaching you how to do it too. He had an extra still and, and he sent it to me as a gift. I'm eternally grateful, it's awesome. And the liquor fairy loves it, loves it. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if the liquor fairy wants to play around with that still a little bit more in the future or a whole lot more in the future. So I sat down with the liquor fairy after they got a chance to run that still and apparently it's just a machine. It just... It was so smooth and so consistent in its running and it just barely needed any fiddling uh, throughout the night. So very cool still. And so the liquor fairy then gave me all the jars. I had to, to make some gifts for some uh, friends and family while I had all these jars with me. So. I gave some away, and what I came home with is a, a paltry 400 mils at 75% of the blackberry brandy. So now that that's all been done, we're gonna take this and proof it down to about 45% and finish it off in a country brandy kind of way. 
I call it country brandy because that's the way I've always seen it is, you know, somebody hands you a jar of something with fruit in it and, and a lot of alcohol. So that's what we're going to do today to uh, finish off this blackberry brandy. But before we do that, I want to thank today's sponsor, Into the AM. They make all of these awesome shirts and hats that you see me wear. The shirts are ridiculously comfortable. The graphics are amazing. And if you use my link down in the video description, then you're going to get a very tasty discount on everything that they have on their site. So definitely check out their graphic tees, but they also sell underwear that are super comfortable. And no, I will not show them to you. With the timing of this video's release, they've got a big old Black Friday sale coming up where you get a very deep discount on top of the one that you get if you use my link. So if you use my link, you get 10% off. And if you shop with my link during any sales event, you get that on top of this 10% discount. So, uh, yeah, if you need to get some Christmas gifts, now's the time to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and proof this down to 45%. Then we're gonna have a little taste of it to see where it is as a base spirit. All right, so now we are at 45% ABV. Here's something my wife discovered. You know how you kind of go like this with the, the glass around your nose? She had her head leaning over and she went. And as soon as she did that, she spotted the berry off of the 75% ABV. Um, I couldn't smell it at all. And then I tried what she did. I just went. And all of a sudden, Blackberry hit me in the face. It was very strange and I have no explanation for it. As completely implausible or dumb as this sounds, give it a try and see if you pick up any different smells from going like this as opposed to like this. If you do, please post it in the comments section because I want to know if we're crazy or not. We're probably crazy. I'm definitely getting a lot from the Blackberry party. Um, it's pretty darn good. There's a little bit of sugar. But on the flavor, it's like a Blackberry party. That's a really good base. It's subtle. It's not like eating Blackberry jam or anything, but it's definitely Blackberries. I'm very, very happy with it. Would I keep this as a, as a white spirit, as an eau de vie? Yes. Would I age it? I don't know. Because my only concern is I would age this and I might lose some of that nice, strong Blackberry character. Um, and I don't want to do that. I want to enhance it. So that's what we're going to do. Before we get that made, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. So all the folks down here and all of my Patreon supporters, thank you guys so much for sticking with me and for constantly giving me input and ideas. I am grateful. As a way of saying thank you, I'm going to give away two of these shirts. Not this design specifically, but this one and this one. And I'll have a post up on Patreon right now so that you can go and enter the contest to win. All right, let's put this together. I know, complicated, right? So basically, uh, with slow gin or anything like this, where you're macerating the fruit in the alcohol with a little bit of sugar, it's really just about how long you want to leave it before you actually drink it. And I'm probably going to start drinking this as soon as it's purple. <laughs> but you can already see it's picking up a tiny bit of the color. When you walk by, I wouldn't shake it. I try to keep the berries as intact as possible until they start to burst on their own. So I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours and see how much color and flavor we can get out of this stuff. So I will see you in a minute. Look at that weirdness. Yeah. See how it's stripping all the color out of the berries? The sugar's all dissolved. The berries look like little alien brains. Let's go ahead and do a quick tasting. And look at the color we've already got off of that. Yeah, definitely starting to get a little bit stronger of a berry flavor in there. And to me, the sweetness is perfect. I've seen recipes where you put almost an equal portion of blackberries and sugar. To me, that's way too much. If you do that, you're approaching a cordial and not a liqueur, which is basically what this is going to be. 
flavor is excellent. I think if this sits for another week to uh, continue to pull out the color and the flavor, it's gonna be even better. I think the sugar level is right at two tablespoons per jar. But here's the thing, I don't think this is enough berries. I put in about a half a cup. I think I want it to have even more flavor and even more uh, color to it. I mean, right now, it's gorgeous. But I think I want it to be a little deeper and I want that flavor to be a little bit richer. So I went and I bought some more berries. And the good thing is, starting at an ABV of 45% means that uh, all the liquid from the juice isn't gonna drop it down too terribly much. I mean, I think this may proof down to about 35% uh, once we get all the, all the juice out. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably another week or two. When your berries are fully kind of bleached out from the alcohol, then you can just strain it. You have two choices on the straining. You can either strain it tr through a cheesecloth and leave the berries whole and, and let the, everything drain out. That way you've got a nice, pretty, clear liquid to, uh, to bottle, or you can mash that up, squeeze all that through the cheesecloth, basically just leaving the seeds behind. And if you do that, it's gonna end up being a much thicker beverage because you're gonna have all that berry sediment uh, and stuff in there. So before you serve it, you need to make sure you give it a shake. But, you know, keep in mind, see how these berries are all bleaching out? The sediment that's gonna be floating around in your bottle is gonna be uh, you know, kind of pale like this. It's not gonna have that deep color. This used to be a red chili pepper. It was fire engine red, and now it's white. So that's gonna affect the appearance. It may not look as good as what you want. So keep that in mind. So I think what I'm gonna do for gifts is actually just strain this without squeezing it. Or you can leave the weird looking berries in there. It's totally up to you. Personally, I think if I give this to someone with the berries in it, they're gonna be like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit the like button because it really helps out the channel. If you want to see what I'm going to do next time, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon right next to it so that you get notified when I post new content. If you have any recipes for your own versions of blackberry brandy, please post them down in the comments section down below if you're keen to share them. All right, thanks for watching. Talk at you later.